totally unmute the mic. Sure, it's muted. Yep, we're smart. Twitch is muted. Is Twitch having this troll? Come on, Twitch. Catch up with me. Yay! Oh, it's Taryn. Taryn's here. Early today. <laughs> Music might be too loud. I will fine tune it as soon as I actually put my headset on. Oh, you happy to be on your computer? Gotcha. Just so happened to be on his computer. Oh yeah, no, that's that's loud. I have, like, <laughs> love-hate relationship with, like, YouTube's audio library. Not only does it still flag on Twitch as copyright, but it also gets pissy. Like, it's, it's volume slider is worse than uh, your shower handles. <laughs> it needs to go all the way to the left and then up, like, half a tick in order to be appropriately loud. It is, it is, yeah, it's frustrating. Okay. I'm gonna do something today. Yes. <sighs> Thinking about trying to actually build a house, but I also debate Moving from here? I would like a maybe smaller truck to go and run around the woods. Like, I know there's... I don't want to go over there and, like, live at my farm. I want to, I want to distinctly stay far away from the farm. But oh, we're going to get rid of that. Do I have guns? Yes. Do I have potatoes? Not enough. OK, I could probably deal with at least one bear now. Oh, I need uno momento. I need to make sure things are visible. Hey, peace. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome. I'm thinking I'm going to look for a place to build a house. Yep. See, I knew there'd be a bear. I knew there'd be a bear. And a wolf. Okay, yep. Yep, hi guys. Yep. Uh-huh. I don't I don't know why. I don't know why I thought to bring my truck into this forest. Immediate bear and <laughs> uh, three wolves. Yeah, no, that was a great idea. Fantastic idea. Ten out of ten. I think it's finally base time. You know, the game's basically over and it's time to build a base. We're definitely not building on a hill. We're not doing that. I could try to build like a, uh, a tree house. I'm not opposed to the idea of a tree house. Still think lubs should attack wolves. Mm. Let's 
be anywhere that I really want to be. Like, immediately, like, nearby. But at the same time, I do particularly like living next to oil. <sighs> Just made tie-dye paper for some... You tried that, but you're too stupid to do it. What, actually making a base or what? Uh, yeah. Nope, I, I used to work for Insomnia Cookies and this was one of their shirts. Granted, this was like uh, the late, I wanna say late night study breakfast because that's the word that's ingrained in my head, but that is not correct. Um, it's actually some kind of slumber party thing where we just had deals and whatnot. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Lub gets pissed at me because Wolf is attacking cows. Yes. But, so you made tie-dye origami drying so you can't do anything in your house uh-huh yeah no that <laughs> sounds about right you have a project that just takes up so much space and then you can do nothing while you wait i will pull up those pictures that I can't live in an ember forest a uh, boat truck would have boat truck would die also I don't think I would want to live in an ember forest uh, would, that would be not great <clears throat> it was not really much of anything I should have also grabbed a beacon you know that would have been a great idea like if I'm gonna be scouting for a base I should really have a beacon to plop down Basically gives you 95 by 95 centimeter sheet. Holy shit, bro. That's a big piece of paper. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I, that, I see the... I see the tie-dye now. I saw the rug at first. And I was like, damn, that's an impressive tie-dye job to get the rug that way. Or maybe it's a towel. But no, that's cool. It is a huge piece of paper. What are you are you, what are you planning on making with this huge sheet of paper? Are you trying to make the unicorn again? Have you practiced the unicorn more since the last time we had this conversation? Hmm. 
something I could do potentially <laughs> uh, would be to make like if I were to live in a big tree I could phase blocks into the tree and then like weld branches to the tree maybe it's an option that's apparently true. I cannot see. Okay, we are we are stuck. <laughs> the other side needs to be the color of the horn and the mane. Huh. So, the tie-dye one is not planned for something, but maybe par with some exotic bird. Yeah, no fair. Like, that would be an interesting... Come on. I hate scrap mechanic. <laughs> Love it. Hate it. Yeah, I need to go home and get a beacon. Bare minimum. I need... I need more weight at the front of the truck. That's why I can't turn. Which was why I was making tier 3 metal to make tier 3 concrete. Or, yeah, to make tier 3 concrete to put at the front of the truck. Uh-huh, that was a thing I was doing. That was 100% a thing I was doing. I thought those bears were bushes. Wow, I thought those bushes were bears. That That's the correct terminology. Or, you know, maybe I live... Maybe I try and move in on top of Forterra. Like, you know, it's not a... There's nothing saying I can't. But at the same time, I then lose access to both. Well, I gain access to water. I just lose access to oil-ish. The odds of finding, you know, <laughs> A uh, desert oil pond within reach of water is uh, slim to none. Hi, bear. Nobody likes you. Why do you have to spawn there? Yup, you're dead now. Okay, <laughs> just stuck between a wolf and a rock. Cool. Pick, but just showcase the two sides of paper. Ooh, yeah, no, that's, that would, that two sides being different colors would be really hard to do when it comes to, like, tie-dye. You kind of dye the entire sheet of paper. Unless you dye two really thin pieces of paper, and then you glue them together. Rainbow unicorn kind of thing. I accomplished nothing. Besides realizing, oh yeah, I should have a beacon. What are the achievements that are left to get? Secret, secret. Secret. Wedge gang. National food items. Wood chipper, yeah, we'll get there. Fill your entire inventory with crude oil. We're gonna do achievements. 
because yeah i don't know nothing is <laughs> nothing is keeping my attention today it's kind of a problem Tie dye one is two sheets glued together. I just didn't want to risk color bleeding through and ruining the pattern. We'll try in the future. Fair, 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 fair. What am I doing? Yep, I have potatoes. I know it's gonna make Fagiano sad, but I'm just gonna throw the wolf stuff on the ground. <laughs> I have too much of it already. Was this, was this the chemical chest? Did I have a chemical chest? I might have had a chemical chest and I just don't know it. I might have had a chemical chest. That might, that might have been the chemical chest. for it. Uh, I should have a paint tool somewhere. Might be on the truck. Probably on the truck. Oh, I already have, I already have exactly one paint in my pocket. Just, just a bit. Chill. There we go. Blue. Have potatoes. Amber. I have food. <laughs> I need to eat food. I say good enough as if it's not completely full. Cat. Paint tool. Yeah, put away. <sighs> huh. Well, that's fine. Now, I'm going to assume this oil achievement doesn't require, it requires you to have all but one inventory space full of stuff. Because you cannot take the lift out of your pocket. Do, 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 do. Um, there's switch on you. There should be, it might just require that. No? Okay. <laughs> Uh, give me my connect tool so I can find my switch. Where did I put it? I put it in the chemical chest. Oh, hold on. Gonna go sadly? Okay. I understand. If you need to lurk and work, you're more than welcome. <laughs> Oh, the switch is upstairs. I just didn't know the switch was upstairs. Come on, let me go. 
Do, 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 do. Glad you could come by anyway. <laughs> Switch. Why? Why are you being stupid? <sighs> the filter is applying to the entire thing. Red. It's broken. Ding, filthy rich. <laughs> and now I need to put all of this back. So I do not need it. That's annoying, but that's okay. Well, we're filthy rich now. And it all fits. And it all fits. Fantastic. Okay. Now, I know I said I was going to do a base, but I think I'm going to build the Happy to Catch Me's Live as well. Yee. I'm always glad when people are able to come by and say hi. Um. Oh, there is a carpenter bot. And apparently I made it. And I didn't remember that it existed. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm going to make a centrifuge. That actually sounds like more fun. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to make a centrifuge. And hopefully break the sound barrier using a centrifuge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, thrusters. I know I was given a level 5 thruster, and that's just a tier 4 thruster. We're going we're going to need thrusters for this. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Also a bunch of crap that I could totally put away. What a load of garbage. <laughs> Jeez. <sighs> okay. That's a lot of it. So I'm copying spin launch? Ab yes. 100%. 100%. I don't even need to Google it. I know what you're talking about. Um, Less, though, technically, less spin launch and more just... Just in general, centrifuge. Um, yeah. So metal can go in there. Copper goes in the copper chest. Wood goes in the blocks chest. Component kits go over here for the time being. So do circuit boards, walk meat. I really need to do something with all of this. <laughs> uh, that definitely feels like a rich people problem. I'd say make food spoil, but please, for the love of God, don't. <laughs> uh, I would I would hate that. Every everyone would hate that. To make it look like a NASA one. I need to make sure it's going to work first, but it should work. Let's just make I'm just gonna clean out all of this. Okay, there are bear claws. The, of the unedible variety. <sighs> okay, we are, will take the soil, I guess. I don't need it, but that's... Yeah. The other thing is I know we've got, like, a ton of crap. That's... that's fine. 
that's fine. That's a problem I'm willing to let exist. <clears throat> Pistons, yeah, I just have so much crap. Okay, no, we need the thrusters. We need the thrusters. We're gonna need bearings. We're gonna need a switch. Okay. Uh mm huh. -hmm. I will take the component kits out of that, and they can get shoved in there. Oh my gosh, I have so many component kits. This feels wonderful. Except I know I'm really not that rich. I know I'm probably going to rip through a bunch of them trying to do whatever I'm going to do today. Uh, I have this vacuum pipe. Can I shove it somewhere? Yes. Cool. Okay, I don't need that many bearings. I'll need a seat. And yeah, so let's grab some wood. We'll grab some stone and or some of this concrete too. And let's go make a centrifuge. We're going to, first things first, we're going to need to actually make sure this works. Um, I need my S word. My S word is at number eight. There we go. Okay. Okay. Yep. So we come over here. Going to grab some of that and grab some of that and the seat. Then a thruster. We're gonna need a gas can. So if we build it up a couple blocks, we'll plop down the bearing that will be our lifeblood. This and this. And if I do this <laughs> and then this. And then, actually, we don't need a bearing. Or we do, we do need the bearing. We don't need... Uh, whatever it is. I don't know. We don't need a switch, because we can just hook the thrusters directly up to... Um, the seat, but it would actually be easier if we grab a logic gate. Do I have a spare fuel container kicking about? The answer is probably not, and I don't know why I'm bothering looking. But let's grab some fuel. And let's see what this will do. Because technically the easiest way to do this, for the sake of things are going to need rewired. You just throw a logic gate and a switch. And then you wire everything into the logic gate and then the switch. And then all you have to do is hook the switch back up to the seat as long as you don't detach, you know, everything else. Okie dokie. Yeah, no, this will work great. So we're currently doing 97. Uh-huh. Okay, so with one tier five thruster, we're capable of going 97 miles per hour. Um, on the other hand, if I take this lever arm and I make it longer, how fast can we go? Also, that gives proof that it works because we went faster. We went we we actually had speed. Oh, we're actually going slower just because it's heavier. <laughs> yeah, no, that's 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 entirely fair. That's entirely fair. Um, okay, now we're gonna grab the other thruster. How much fuel have you burned through? You've burned through four fuel already. That's wonderful. It's a good thing we live in the desert with food. Oh, we need component kits. Okay. 
also this is i need to look up what the speed of sound actually is in order to break the sound barrier because that's not for the number of Scrapman videos that I have watched where he's been trying to break the sound barrier, um, I have remarkably little understanding of actually how fast that is. Did I hook it up? I did not hook it up. Hook that up to that. Okay. Grum. We are breaking... Uh, we're just over a hundred miles an hour. So we're gonna... We're gonna go back to this being shorter. <laughs> and see what it does. Oh, yes. Oh, see, we're at, like, it's really not that big of a difference, but it is, like, a hundred and... Now we're at 120. I need to hit 767 miles per hour. Hmm. <laughs> And we are one seventh. We're one seventh of the way there with two thrusters. So I'm going to try and add. Yes, it's amazing that it's one, two, three, four in kilometers. I was seeing that. So we're going to try and just add a little bit more weight over here. See if adding this counterbalance helps. It, we're a little faster. We're hitting 130. <laughs> but not not notice no major difference. Um what would happen if I were to disconnect that and weld it closer? And now, I, all I have to do is hook back up the switch, and it's easy. It's worse. It is much worse. Okay. Uh-huh. No, that's, that's fair. Okay. So now, if I make this lever arm stronger longer don't i need a counterweight see that's what i thought i thought the counterweight was the thrust effectively okay well now we're okay we're a, we're approaching 200 at this point and the thrusters were moving so fast they couldn't even hit me. Okay. This is how it works. <laughs> you have... Okay, so let's shorten this arm. I don't need the bearings anymore. Let's shorten this arm even more. And then we'll add a bit of a counterweight to this arm. Let's make it symmetrical and make the seat arm longer than the thrust arm. See, but I was getting, I'm getting better results with the thrust arm being longer. Okay, so see, now I've kind of made it too short. Now I'm seeing drastically reduced returns. Okay. Feel like there's... 
feel like there's a fine line here. And or it might have had something to do with the weight. Busters now do way more distance speed per time than you. See, that's what I was thinking. But like, if you look at the bottom right of my screen, like I'm now getting speeds of 240. I'm pushing 250 miles per hour, which is way faster than I was getting when I had the thrusters close by and the seat out there. But on the other hand, maybe, um, we just take the seat and we take the seat and we put the seat over here and then counterweight. Honestly, most of that's a waste. The further out you can have your weight, the better. See, I'm I'm approaching 200, but I'm going to cap out at like 200. Yeah. Put the seat on a piston stack, low weight, and they'll auto extend. See, that's... Mm -hmm. This is what is logically supposed to work, but scrap mechanic says fuck logic. Uh, okay, so now if, what if I take this and I put this here? Okay, see, now we're down to like 90 miles an hour. <laughs> but now... Yeah, now we're only pushing like 140. There we go. Put thrusters on the counterweight. Mm -hmm. And by counterweight, do you mean the short arm? Because the counterweight is supposed to be the short arm. Do, 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 do. Overshot. Because, yeah, if I do that, this is the way it's supposed to work. Then you want to put the same, put a seat outwards. My brain, the thruster arms are the same length, and then you want to put a seat outwards. See, because, yeah, now we're getting, like, oh, we're also out of fuel in one of them. Which means we're about out of fuel in the other one. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and top it off. Okay, because what I'm... We're going to pull up a picture. Drink. You. Um. Centrifuge. Or it was what? The sling launch? Sling launch. Was effectively it. Mm, not really. No, this this wasn't it. Um, I think it was like G-Force training. This. This is what I wanted to build. Effectively. Yeah. Yeah. 
effectively. We're gonna go NASA G-Force training. What was it? Sling launch? Spin launch. I, I don't fucking know. Is it is it called the sling launch? No, it it's called the spin launch. Watch spin launch sling a payload. No, it it's it's spin launch. That was just the word that I heard. Like that's what I wanted. So, but this uses an engine down here to spin. So yeah, never mind. This is this may or may not be feasible. But I mean, hey, I was already at 200 miles an hour. Now I just need to get back to the point where I was at doing 200 miles an hour. Also, I need to flick back to that so I can watch this. So we remove these. So what I'm what I'm seeing from testing is the seat needs to be on a short arm and the other the thrusters need to be on the long arm. That's that is what testing in scrap mechanic has shown to be optimal. Does it make sense? No. Ish. It kind of makes sense, but not like a lot of sense. Because so if we do like even lengths, if I do exactly even lengths and I put that there and I put another block there and I weld it there. Um, did I actually grab fuel when I ran home? No, because I got distracted googling for pictures. What if I have four small arms in the center, thruster each, and then for the seat, which has a counterweight? We'll find out. We're going, we're starting back at basics with this. Also, I think I'm just going to grab this bad boy, which apparently had gas in it. It pull it pulls gas. Um Hey Terran. Hey hey Crashlander devs. I think I've found a bug. If you if you have gas in the refueler and then you pick up the refueler, it throws the gas on the ground and then it keeps its gas and then. Why doesn't this game have an economy that I could now break with infinite gasoline? <laughs> ah, that's kind of dumb. Inventory. Yeah, I bet my inventory is full. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. So yeah, about that. Okay. Uh, we're gonna put you like down here, and maybe you'll refill these engines. Looks like it. So if I take you, maybe not. I don't know how this thing is supposed to work. I know Scrapman made it work. <laughs> this is stupid. Uh, let's game it out. Secret achievement. Oh, what is that one? Is that play for so many hours consecutively? Find a bug and report it to the devs is a secret achievement. That would be great. <laughs> um, I need a chest. I need somewhere to put all this gas that I've now duped. 
the yellow stuff chest. Okay. Is a YouTuber who breaks games. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, well, now let's... See, now that is pushing a speed of 129. So, you know, let's... I'm going to grab the paint tool. The paint tool will be potentially very useful. Um, so let's grab some paint and the paint tool. Okay. So we are going to detach, detach that. We're going to detach the seat. We are going to add one block to, where did all my wood go? Where did all my wood go? Why am I, why am I out of wood? Oh, well, I should have more in the wood chipper. Yeah, there we go. Plenty of wood. Look who's back. What the heck? I broke it. I broke it. Um, yeah, 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 cool. I'm glad you came back because, yeah. So notice this fancy smanchy refueler that has five stacks of fuel in it. If I pick it up, it throws those stacks of fuel on the ground. And it still has them. Yep. Yep. There you go. That's what I did. <laughs> uh, yeah. You're... I would say you're welcome, but I know you're not thanking me. Okay, so we're gonna... Oh, t Streamlabs, go away. No, go away. Wait, did it just... Why did my Streamlabs just change colors? The actual fuck Streamlabs. Why would you do anything while I'm streaming? Okay. There we go. Okay, so that is length. We're gonna now do this. Um, okay, now. We're gonna plop down some wood. We're gonna weld that to there. And we're going to plop down the seat. And counterweight is more or less useless, so I don't care for it. Connection tool. <laughs> right? I promise I wasn't trying to break the game. See, now that gets us at about 180. All I wanted to do was have the refueler in order to... Uh, you know, refill my engines without needing to do so. And then I created this problem. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to cut this by three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, we're going to put that back. We're going to rehook it. We're going to see what happens. Okay, see now we're now we're at reduced speeds. We so what if I take the seat? And I put it on this side. <laughs> Is there a difference? I see mad wobble. Put a thruster. I we will try it. Yeah, no, that's that's not cutting anything. Okay. Ow. <laughs> okay. 
Now, if I take you... Put it up top. Still capping out at about 140. What did I what did I do to have it fit hit 200? I felt like it was basically this. What if Okay, we're going to go back and we're going to watch the stream. What did I what did I do to hit 200? That was one that's 120. Talk it was before we started talking weird stuff. Yeah, that one didn't work. It's 115. There we go. That's... No, I thought we hit like 250. Boy, YouTube is not wanting to cooperate. Poof. Okay, we're just going to not do that. Okay. We're just going to have you get to live. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. We will try the thruster on each arm. Doesn't have any fuel. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. That was... Yep. Oh well, it'll run out of fuel soon. And then I have, you know, infinite fuel. It's gonna run out of fuel soon. Gotta. Okay, there we go. Okay, you need fuel and to be turned up. That is re. That's giving us pretty much the exact same results. Ow. I stopped it. I set myself flying, but I stopped it. Now the seat on the long arm. Yeah, that got us a little higher. <sighs> Feel like I just need more thrusters at this point. Alternatively, I could try and glitch it using a suspension glitch and insanity. But, uh, so I need, a th I need thrusters. I need, also how many component kits do I have? Oh god, that's gonna burn all of my component kits to even just make two more thrusters. Oh my god. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's thruster, thruster base, and metal cage. I think I have metal cages. Yeah. I mean, does it, does it need one or two each? Requires one each. Okay. 
That's all doable. Um. Okay, well, I need to throw copper and metal one into the system, and we're just gonna get it crafting a lot more circuit boards and component kits. So obviously, we're gonna rip through all of them. Consumable, craft, loop, you, craft, loop. What's the current meta for components? Uh, trading with Bill for beeswax. Yep. And if you're, yeah. 100%. Um, if you're low on... Yeah, beeswax you can trade with Bill. Uh, I think you can trade for... You can trade for copper with one of the boys. I think it's Mark. Um, there is no metal trade. Otherwise, it would be, you know... Beautiful perfection. Okay. Component kit. Oh yeah, you'll need the circuit boards. Craft loop. Okay. Yes, there. Yes, there is. There is very much so the beeswax trade. It is the best trade in the entire game. Bar bar none. Throw in a few more stacks of stuff. Huh. Um, we're gonna put the filter away. Yeah. Okay, now, yeah, now I need to go back upstairs and get the components. But whether you uh, report it to the people or not, uh, I'll, I'll share a post of it today. I'll probably clip, I'll make a clip of the bullshit and share that to the Discord. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I need tier 3 metal. I need tier 3 metal, probably tier 2 and tier 1. We're just going to go with that. Uh, I need exhaust ports, which means I need pipes. And I need coal, apparently. Um... Yeah, I don't like the explosions. I still don't like the explosions. Craft that. We'll have that. Craft the nozzle. Do that. And then... Exhaust. Oh, I need to make two of these. That... Yeah, I do. I need to make two of these. I'm smart. I'm smart. I know what I'm thinking. That's a lie. That is a bold-faced lie. Because I don't... I don't think I can trade for thrusters with the boys. Yeah. Honestly, though, uh, the crafting meta might not be a thing. We might start farming for component kits. The be the beeswax is great. Um, but what might otherwise be better?
Taking your sweet time. It would be if I were able to come and talk. I it's either Mark or it's definitely not Justin. It's either Mark or Ivan who's going to who has the component kit trade. Uh, let's check by the boss's room where the two of them like two of them like to get stuck. Is that Ivan? It is not Ivan. So I need to talk to Mark. Yeah, cause it's it's not Justin. Justin just does like food shit. Okay, Mark, where are you? Yeah, he's not down here. Usually he's upstairs. He doesn't usually come downstairs like this. And I don't recall ever opening those, so I wanted to open those. Shouldn't be down my shortcut. Shouldn't. Being. Might have been in the bathroom does kind of like to go down there. Just re-popping my head in here. No, there's... Come on. He's not in the piping rooms. He won't, he won't go in the piping rooms. None of them do. Hi, Mark. Yeah, he's probably in the bathroom. Trade. So he does component kits for 45 copper and four oranges. Why don't I block some of the doors? Because you can't build. Unless you unless you decrypt, you can't build. Uh, but so he's four oranges and 45 copper. And Ivan in here. Does thought he had a copper trade or is it Justin? Justin has a copper trade. So for roughly six broccoli, eight bananas and four oranges. Just knock some loose blocks inside and build some barricades. You're clever. <laughs> uh -huh. I, I, I'm just too lazy. So yeah, for roughly, I need scratch, I need scratch paper. And none of what I have next to me is scratch paper. It's all actually shit I'm supposed to, you know, important paperwork documents that I'm supposed to like do something with that I've just not. Okay, so for effectively six broccoli, uh, eight bananas and four oranges. We get eight component kits. Honestly, I this is craft in game papers for the pricings. I mean, I could do that or post it notes. I assume they are not only creative mode. No, I, I don't think so. I think you can craft the papers. OK, 
Can I push Mark? Hey, Mark. I want to push you. Awesome. Because if I can push you into the boss's room with the other boys, uh, I'll have easy access to all of you all of the time. I, I straight up feel like I'm playing Destiny 2 again and I'm trying to push my friends off the tower. 100% that's what this feels like. Because part of the problem is, I know these guys can open doors. Yep, d d ignore the fact that I'm crouching right in front of you, Mark. D d ignore this. Oh, you know what I just noticed? Mark and I are basically wearing the exact same clothes. He just has a different backpack. And shoes. Like, different backpack, different shoes. That's it. In you go, Mark. In you go. There we go. Okay. There you go, guys. Be happy. Let's see if Mark... See if Mark will try to leave. Because I assume just being in there for some reason breaks them. They don't... It, it's, like a, it's like a zombie in Minecraft where you have uh, a, th a three block tall opening, but you have a slab on the bottom and a slab on the top. Uh, and as such, the zombie's brain only sees that one wide opening, despite the fact that physics wise, it is actually a two wide opening that you can walk through. So the zombie won't path through it, but they can be pushed through it. But I don't think I need to barricade it because like Justin and Mark or well, like Justin and Ivan have been in here for days and they've never left so I don't think I need to barricade it but now they're all stuck there they should all be stuck there if wifey's making sandwiches I'll take one yay I get sandwich If that's what you're making. If not, then don't worry about it. <laughs> I don't know the mess she currently has on the counter, apparently. Minus the parfait, sure. Fruit with cake salad, uh-huh. Most most people would love a cake salad. I feel like it doesn't fit most diets though. I I know. It makes makes sense. Okay, let's go defend some crops and let's get some crops a growing. What even is being attacked? Left. Mm -hmm. uh, 
I apparently am growing tons. Oh, because I was going to go and buy coal. That's why we have much red beets. And my pockets are excessively full. I don't care about you. You'll die eventually. Cap. I feel like there's a lob here somewhere. No, no, all this, all the stuff's dead. Cool. Okie dokie. Uh, yeah, let's get some crops in the ground. And we want, we want oranges. We want. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're just going to put all of my crap away in this chest. That way I can harvest maximum croppage. Mm -hmm. There we go. That'll do. And I know I could use the sickle to harvest red beets, but I just one. Inventory full. Where's my red beet seeds? There they are. But I don't need the extra seeds, and the, that's mostly what the sickle does, is it just gives you extra seeds. It has a really low chance of giving you extra crop, but it's not worth the slowness that is harvesting with it. Versus just right-click harvesting is so much faster. We have fucking buku pineapple. Uku gasoline. Mm-hmm. We're just gonna shove all the red beets in here. Okay. Okay, that's currency. That's all technically currency as well. That's not currency. This feels so, so wrong. I'm throwing pineapples on the ground. There needs to be a slider for seed slash fruit deals. You could set it higher to get rid of the overdose of seeds or lower when you run out of seeds, not in a cheaty way, but a bouncy way. I'd be, I'd be all for that. That sounds fair. I don't know if you would be able to have like a slider on the sickle or if you would need to have like another sickle. Like there's a you there's a scythe and there's a sickle. The sickle gives you more seeds and the scythe gives you more crop. Oh, and we are out of chemicals to fight more raids. Which kind of means we need to go and upgrade that, uh... vacuum pump that's down in the Yahoo. Because if we're going to be planting... Okay, I can, I can fetch more chemical. That That's a thing I can do today. Today, like right now, effectively. So let's just go ahead, we'll get more crops. Ooh. Uh, there, there is not a scythe. I don't think there is a scythe, but that's me throwing ideas out there. So if I have, I need a total of 14. I need a total of 18 crops um, in order to trade for one thing of eight components. 
And I assume I have 300 crop plots. I need... That's going to be effectively 5, 10, 15. So I would need 6 times 15. I would need each of these times 15. So that's, that's I would need 90 broccoli. Uh, there you 120 bananas and 60 oranges. But we also have to take into consideration the fact that broccoli uh, takes two days to grow versus bananas and oranges only take one day to grow. The, the vacuum pump might need a slider. That would be interesting. And you could bounce by hand here. By hand, it should be one to one, sickle for two to one, and scythe one for two. Basically, that would be that would be kind of nice. Um, of 90, 120, 60. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm bad at math, but, which means over the course of uh, effectively two days slash two raids, I need to get 180 bananas or 180 broccoli. <clears throat> um, and I needed to total 600 effectively or yeah. Yay, nummies. He, wife is amazing. Hey, you, come here. You, come here. Mm. Love you. Love you. I don't fucking know. All I know, if I plant 180 broccoli, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I plant 180 broccoli, I should then be able to plant 120 oranges, six, and then I can plant a ton of bananas on the next day. That should work, maybe. And then I can like fill the rest of it in with bananas. Uh, which one does the water? There we go. I'm going to turn it back on when it reaches, like, over there. Oh, it ran out of water! Can rip. 
Why? Why are you running out of water? Because I... Why is that hooked up like that? I'm... I... That lever... That switch needs to disappear. It's obviously... I should not have it. Okay, that one, this crop plot disappears. Okay, now let's just plant all this broccoli. And then we need to go inside and harvest chemical. This might be the new meta when it comes to component kits. Level 9, wave 1. Yep. But it definitely requires a farm of like this caliber to really be worth it. Also, apparently bears can break tier 3 metal. I was unaware of this fact. They just kind of apparently have like a very low chance of actually doing it. Okay, oranges. If a crop plot ever doesn't get watered, it disappears forever. Okay. And now the rest of this is going to be bananas. And then we need to go get chemical. And then after this, all of that gets replanted as bananas. Okay. Okay, we need to go fetch chemical. Like, now. We have five minutes. Okay, uh, where is boat truck? that yeah the rest of that is largely unnecessary but it's fine i don't have any vacuum pumps over here Ooh, actually you are not attached to anything else so that's not gonna move gonna go inside The fog is definitely much better in this update. It sucks much less. <laughs> Shortcut. Chemical, chemical, I need chemical. I also need to upgrade, I need to upgrade this because this is way too slow for the amount of time I feel like giving it. But 
I also want it to autofill like all of the chests. Hmm. Also, this needs a logic gate set up to it, uh, so that it will just always pump if I come into the warehouse, as opposed to only turning on when I come down here. Mm-hmm. Like, my thought is get one of the throughs and put the pass through right here which gives it a connection point to the wall that's not reliant on the chest have probably three pumps down in the water or down in the chemical and then have like a T or a yeah probably a T down here so I can fill up two chemical containers For the amount of chemical I usually need, this is just not enough. Okay, there we go. We are full. Let's go. But we're just going to sprint over, hop inside, and then throw chemical inside. We also might need to get boat truck back up on a lift. Mm-hmm. I think I'll focus on boat truck first. Boat truck is more expensive. Okay. There we go. Let the explosions begin. There we go. Okay.
I really ought to just turn off like screen shake. Rude. Get down here. There we go. Okay, that's the raid. Might be filled again before you leave HQ. Yeah, we would be if I had like a real good one. If I had a real good system set up. <laughs> One handing a sandwich. Okay, we're good on chemicals now. For a while. Okay. Yeah, somebody's triggering. Probably off of the walk meet. Keep the reap claws. Okay. Oh, there we go. Mm-hmm. We go now. We just yeah have to come back tonight to harvest bananas. bananas and oranges and replant bananas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. That's the bunch of red beets to trade for coal. Okay. Let's not, let's not blow up boat truck. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's go. So, do I have two thrusters? No. I need to craft another one of these. Which is what the coal was for. What are you doing? Okay. Sure.
an actual like exhaust pipe or does this component do the thing that I'm thinking it does? No, that does nothing. Okay. It's a fant thing that I'm thinking of then. Thrusters. Okay, we're gonna turn both of you off and we're gonna make two thrusters. We are going to make I need shit that was in my pocket and is no longer in my pocket. What did I need? Five gas. What is it? You craft. There we go. Now we'll have two thrusters. We'll have an additional... That was loud. An additional two level five thrusters in about 30 seconds. Look at the difference. That looks so much cooler. There we go. Two more level five thrusters. 100 component kits burned. Fuck. Fuck, that's expensive. Now we're gonna play with this some more. We'll put you there, and we'll put you here, and we'll see what the how the law of diminishing returns has affected us. You know what? Let me rip. I'm gonna rip the fuel tank out of the mining rig. It'll be fine. Nothing bad will happen. One is not on max total. Yeah, there, there's... I've not done... I've not set all of them yet. Hopefully that does what it's supposed to do. There we go. Okay. We are at 190, but you don't have fuel. For some reason, you don't have fuel. Why didn't you get fuel? Okay. We are completely full. Everything has fuel. Okay, it's not that it doesn't have fuel, it's that it's not hooked up to the switch. Six. 
except it is? What the fuck? The actual fuck. I... Okay, it does. It is fueled. It's just... Particle effects are capped out at the moment because of all the fuel on the ground. I broke it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Carnival rides? I'm trying to break the sound barrier with a centrifuge. For an achievement. Yep. <laughs> yep, I figured that would be easier than trying to, uh... Build a thing that can fly and be steerable. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. You're laughing at me. <laughs> Can't really watch. Aw, oh, that's okay. Mm hmm Yes, you're laughing at me. Yes, I am. Yep. Currently, we're hitting about 200 miles an hour. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I need to hit 700 and something. Mm-hmm. Yep. And, of course, scrap mechanic physics is stupid and not mm -hmm. cooperating. Because there's there's how lever arms and things should work. They're not working how they should work. This is my counterbalance. I, I add weight to the counterbalance and I go slower. I don't know. But in theory, because you have the force going forward, but you also have the force pushing you out, uh -huh. and then the wind, which is going to make you try to twist, but you can't. Wind doesn't so matter. Gonna, well, but, but yeah. But still. Yeah. But it's going uh -huh. to pull and slow you, and also try to stretch you out. Mm -hmm. um, you also get faster the longer you are. I, I'm Just aware of that. Uh, I'm aware of longer lever arms helping better. But just because the distance you're traveling. Yes. Uh huh. Is the outside of a ceiling fan is technically moving faster than the inside of the ceiling fan, despite making the same revolution per minute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why our bigger centrifuge is better. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Get a bigger sucker and you can go real fast. Yes. Also, more weight will make you go faster. Mm-hmm. But you have to find the right balance between length and weight. Yeah, she, apparently you're right about the vectors of thrust not pointing exactly where you want them to be. Like, yes. Yes, I'm I'm aware of this fact. Thank you. I is science. Yes, wifey is science. I am aware Therefore, of this fact. I doubt you can actually hit the speed of sound going up. I'm going to try. Good luck. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. The fact that you're going to circle is not as good yet, so. Well, it means I don't have to go anywhere. Means I don't have to try to control a creation going 700 miles an hour. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I I wanted to talk to Red Builder. Hope I'm I'm hoping Terran made it obvious what's happening here but i don't know if he they had that conversation i don't know if anyone's had that conversation yet i'd rather just delete all of this but you can't just Delete things. <laughs> nope. <gasps> oh, wait a 
second. Wait a second. Oh, okay. So there's, there's, there is something we need to try. Um. Just as a, as a matter of like bug testing and, you know, being good stewards of the game. Uh, it's obvious that the fuel refueler is broken. Is the battery refueler broken? going to need all of this gas. This is dumb. Cat. Okie dokie. Let's... Okay, I need boat truck. Because boat truck has all the crap I was having in my pockets. Yeah, we have more gas. Actually, we need to go and check the farm. Probably about done. But it's raining, so the broccoli is going to be rehydrated. Which is good and easy for me. Yeah, my pockets are mostly empty for harvesting of bananas. Harvesting of crops. Are we actually going to be able to harvest all of this? Nope! <laughs> Didn't figure. Uh, banana seed, or, well, yeah, orange seeds, and then banana seeds. Okay, there we go. I, I need a trash can so bad. Like, I don't care what this trash can costs. We need a trash can. Where's the waterers? Oh, the waters are on the other side. Okay, just go ahead and turn on. Oh, bananas. We're planting a ton of bananas. All of the bananas we can physically plant. Yeah, so it looks like rain doesn't actually rehydrate, like, broccoli in the light. You still need to water. Huh. <laughs> yes. I mean, I could, I could, 
I could use explosives as a trash can, but that, that feels real wasteful. I also, it is, it is, it is an option. But, and I do have, you know, the glow, glow scoots to trade for large explosives. And, or just, you know, the drills to infinitely explode items. But, yeah, okay, so that begs a question. So if I take some of these seeds, can't stack them on top of each other. You suck. And I don't have any building blocks because why would I? That's a logical thing to do. I'm clearly not a logical person. Oh, oh, stop. There we go. Okay. Put the rest of the seeds away. There we go. Okay. Is all currency more currency cat okay. there we go let's go and get back to the crap I was doing while we wait on all that to grow cuz Lord knows we don't need to defend the raid the farm defends itself Hello, wolves. I'm gonna deal with you because you're a problem. There we go. Oh no, my crops are under attack. Don't care. Boat truck, you need to actually go the other way here. And get out of the way. Okay. Okay, so you're thinking put... I need my paint tool. Okay. I don't think I need any... I might need the concrete. That's it. Okay, let's see about what we're going to do here. <sighs> Delicious pineapple. Okay, let's move that. Remove these. See, this is the other problem I don't want to run into. I might just need another logic gate at this point. Not sure which can take the switches, though. Maybe there's a lighter seat or a more aerodynamic one. I don't... F I mean, I could grab a lighter seat, definitely. Um, just by nature of... Um, I don't know what I'm reaching for. By having a smaller seat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But I don't think aerodynamics is a thing because rat mechanic? Six, seven, eight. So that should paint to there. Yep. Now we'll attach that there. Go over five. Aha. Uh -huh. You, you, and you. Logic. Thruster, thruster. I just tried to, you know, do the creative thing. Hook those up. 
Max. Max. I would technically need like a fuel canister on each. The fuel canister is just not worth it. It's a, it's a pain in the butt. Never mind. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we go faster. We are at 205. Okay. Um, but we can come over here. Because I know I can take... I know I have a seat in here somewhere. Yeah, smaller seat. We'll see if this makes any difference at all. Put that there. Hook you up to you. I do. Uh, okay, no. We cannot use said seat. Uh, because said seat does not give me a, a speed readout. Like if I hop in this seat, you notice at the bottom right, there's zero miles per hour. But if I hop into the passenger seat, I do not get a speedometer at the bottom right. So that's not an option. Good thought. Great thought. Doesn't work. Okay. Now I want to see about doubling the length of this arm. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Where's my weld tool? Boat truck. Where's my weld tool? Should be. There it is. Take that. Put that there. Hook. You up to the switch. There we go. Make my life a little easier. Uh, we're getting... That gave us a little bit of a difference. So that's 230. And that dealt 14 damage to me. <laughs> the speed watch. Um, true, because I have the time watch. Yeah, I, I can go grab a speed watch. run at 18 miles an hour. Okay. Um. Regular seat. That doesn't work. So. Oh, buddy. Oh, that was... That made a difference. Why? Why? Okay. Holy shit. Because that's a speed of 350 miles an hour compared to, I think we were hitting two hit 250. Yeah, almost halfway. And holy shit. Why? Why in the world? Because, yeah, if we go back to the driver's seat. We're capping out at about 200. I think I'm hitting something, and that's part of the problem. Yeah, 230. Compared to that easy 350. That's bonkers. Okay. Um, we are going to increase the length of our arms. <sighs> 
which requires a paint job for measuring's sake. Um, and we are probably going to, we're definitely going to have to increase the height on the bar. The centrifuge itself. Yeah, otherwise we're gonna, we're gonna start hitting stuff. You know, this giant stack of gasoline that I glitched into existence. Mm, okay. Book. Okay, we're gonna put that in there. We're gonna put this up over here. And we're going to start this test with the driver's seat. And then we're gonna hook it up to the other seat. And just see the difference. I want... I guess it really doesn't matter. I need the bearing. So we need to lift ourselves up. Send bearing. Weld tool. There we go. Okay. Gonna get boat truck out of the way. Curious for difference indeed. Uh-huh. This is, it's so weird. You know what? We're also gonna... So what's this difference? So this brings us up to 250 pretty easy. But now we're gonna do the intelligent thing. We're gonna move the seat <laughs> out to the edge. Look it back up. And that brings us up to about 300. And now we're going to switch it back to the regular seat, which is right here. Okay. Oh, that's already... That's... 450? Yeah, that makes such a huge difference. Just look at the character just like dragging behind. Uh, yeah, okay. F and all of the thrusters are on. Yep, cool. Okay, okay, no, we're hitting 450. Place both seats on the outside of the block to make it fair. Valid. So that's a fair test. It's a fair test. Um... So, we look at the block, we place it there. Um, I don't need gas on my pocket or hot bar. There we go. Put that up to that. Wait, that actually brought our speed down. Hold on. Okay. Give me, give me a second. So the weight of a seat, well, we're going to, okay, we're going to repeat the test, but so the weight of a seat is three and it has an area of, what, one, two, three, four, Four by four by one, two, three, four. So four by four by four. So that is a weight of 64 times three, which is 128, uh, which is 192. Concrete block two has a weight of eight. So if I took, you know, I pull out my calculator because I've reached the extent of my math, 192 and divided it by eight, that is 24 concrete blocks that we will test here in a moment. Okay, so if I do that, yep, 
Yeah. Our previous top speed was 450. And now we're down to like 307. Yeah, no, big difference. Big difference. So now if I put that seat there, and now I come over here and I place 24 concrete three, we're gonna make it as even as possible. One, two, it's four, six, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four. So that concrete should match the weight of the seat perfectly. Should. And now we crank this back up. And we're slower. So now if I remove that counterweight, either that or I've just added too much weight to the counterweight. Option. So let's remove that. We're already speeding up faster. Mm-hmm. But our top speed... Oh, we're out of fuel and some. Where's my seat? Capping 380. We're gonna cap out at like 400. Okay, yeah, about, about 400. Ah, oh, that was 48. <laughs> Oh, that, that, that'll to almost two shot me. Okie dokie. Ow. That was pain. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that, that helped. Now, what if I remove a little bit more of that? See, now we're easily, we're 450, 500? 500, 510, uh-huh, 20, okay, so 520, if I remove a little bit more counterweight, oh, it comes to a stop fairly quickly, I like that, okay, let's remove a little bit more of that. So we hit 520 previously. Oh, well, we've already blown past 520. Yeah, we're at 530. Creeping up on 540. Okay. And now what happens if I remove you? So we're at 540 right now. Yeah, no, having a little bit, and now we're down to 470. So yeah, having a slight dip, that counterbalance did help. I I cannot deny that the counterbalance did help. So we are only going to use six blocks of weight. There we go, that was where we saw the best return. So now like our top speed is like 540 right now. Um, I feel like I just make the spin arms longer at this point. I feel like that's what I do. So we're going to remove those two. We're going to pull out the paint tool. Uh, we're going to go for dark. Yep. And then we're also going to go for, you know, dark purple. Purple's gonna come over here. 
That's another draw. Seat on a few pistons. Why would I put the seat on pistons? I mean, yeah, I, I kind of see what you're going for. It, it, I'm, I think I'd like to try to keep it rigid. So that, that'll go there. Weld tool. Oh, um, yeah, this side. Okay. Now we attach a couple blocks. We attach six concrete two. And over here, attach our seat. And then connect it all up. Driver's seat is gone. Driver's seat is useless. Uh, you're gonna... You're gonna hook to you. You're gonna hook up to this. And... There we go. Okay. Extra free range. Yeah. And so we're still... We busted 550 and we'll push... We'll probably push 575. So that's definitely diminishing returns. It's definitely diminishing returns. Um, I feel like maybe we need another set of thrusters at this point. Which I could go ahead and get crafting. And then once we go trade with uh, Mark and Justin, we can have infinite component kits. Um, so I want all this crap that I was using to craft them. Okay, let's go. Okay. Put the thrusters above each other. They are both on the outermost ring. Yeah, no, you, you make a fair point. You make a fair point. Um, we're going to need a bunch of pipes. those two of those and we need 10 gas okay once we have this and the other part oh no we just need the exhaust Extra thrusters might just be enough. Yeah, they they just just might be enough to get us to hit the sound barrier. If it's enough, it will be just enough. Oh, look at all those circuit boards. Oh, look at all these circuit boards that are about to become component kits. Mm. That's a sexy quantity of circuit boards. Okay. 
Um, consumable component kits, craft and loop. Thank you very much. And 10. We'll keep 10 stacks of circuit boards. That's 100 circuit boards. If I need 100 circuit boards, I'm probably certifiably insane. Um, craft that. And we're just waiting on that, and then we can make the last one. There we go. There we go. I'll make two more thrusters. That's awesome. I hear heavy truck outside. Okay. We have the thrusters. Now let's go and trade with friends. Actually, what time is it? It is just after the new day, which is awesome. That's what I was hoping for. We've effectively skipped a raid by just not going over to the farm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> they changed the bears. It oh rude. Rude. They now only two shot the bears. They broke it. They broke my baby. Oh well, it still works. What else in this game is gonna two-shot a bear? Nothing. The, the answer is nothing. Okay, let's... I need to dump everything that is not vitally important. Okay, we're gonna keep a spud gun, we're gonna keep the shotgun, and some potatoes. Just for self-defense. And the sword. Okay. Okay, there we go. Now, rich people problems, throw the shit on the ground. Okay. Bananas! Give. Should be able to harvest all of the bananas without... Having to empty pockets. Should. Should. There we go. Which we did. Okay. Cool. That's the bananas. We're gonna huck seeds on the ground. There we go. And now we're gonna harvest broccoli. Probably have to empty pockets at least once with the broccoli. Considering I've left the bananas in my pocket. I had a banana in your pocket? Are you just happy to see me? Yeah, inventory full. Yeah. Broccoli. There we go. 
When you do reach the sound barrier, vote relocating some of the thrusters to make the farm go spinny. <laughs> spinny, spinny, zoom, boom. I, th I think that could be arranged. Spinny, spinny, zoom, zoom, boom. Spinny, spinny, zoom, boom. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't go in there. There we go. And no raid, because we got to it before 4 a.m. Okay, let's go trade. Oh my god, this is so much stuff. Oh, I have some more seeds, actually. Um, seeds. We almost have a full chest of broccoli seeds, finally. Stupid. There's an excessive quantity of seeds that is completely and utterly unnecessary. <sighs> okay. I can only carry one chest. So I'm going to need... I need to do the banana and broccoli trade first because that's what gives me the copper to be able to afford this. Um, and so I needed, I thought I planted 180 broccoli. I did. I did. So yeah, no, that is 180. Okay. That's, that's fine. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. I can, I can do math. Basic math. Um, give me the bananas. Here's the remaining broccoli that is unnecessary. Um, well, it's actually probably going to be necessary. We're going to take extra. There we go. Or do I have a stack of copper? Just kicking about. No. Okay, that's fine. <sighs> yeah, so broccoli. Bananas. Where did I put all the bananas? Is that all the bananas? Is that legit all the bananas? Okay, so we'll deposit all the oranges. We'll pull as much of that as we can. We deposit the oranges back in that chest. Broccoli, okay, oranges. We're going to have excess oranges because I had oranges to begin with. And we'll just take a bunch of bananas. Okay. There we go. Can't wait to see some bears going Mach 1. <laughs> you make an excellent point. Bears going Mach 1 will be fun. Who's calling me? Go away. Bugger off. <sighs> okay. There we go. So I want this chest full of stuff. Also, we're now going to, we're going to drive over. Because I'm not a heathen. I'm not walking this again. Doop, 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 doop. Because... Okay, yeah, I can carry a chest no matter what. Okay. Uh, that's... Okay. The other stuff telling you that you can't carry in here made me feel like I couldn't carry... Uh... The... A chest. But I guess you can carry a chest. You just can't carry anything else. Hey, yeah, look. Look, the boys are in town. Okay, Justin. I need copper. I need to have an empty inventory spot for the copper. 
All right, Justin, I need copper. Bananas. Okay, we're a little short on bananas. That's fine. But now that we have the copper... Oranges. Oh, Mark! I need component kits. Oh god, we're, that's so not enough copper. I, yeah, I think I found the new meta. I think I found the new meta, meta for component kits. That's just... And like, I have copper at home. I could use much, much more copper. I could, if I had brought copper from home, I would have filled this chest with component kits. No cap. Yeah, no, I'm probably never going to craft component kits again after I finish, you know, whatever's crafting at home now. Mm, nope, other way. There we go. Okay. Yeah, just to walk away from home. Go get that chest full. <laughs> uh, okay, fine. Fine, we'll go get a chest full of component kits. Something that would have been, like, impossible to even conceive of in vanilla. Do, 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 copper. There. That should do it. Okay. We're gonna dump the broccoli, because the broccoli is unnecessary. Okay. Oh. Do, 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 Okay. Mark! I have more stuff for you. And this is how you walk upstairs and eat a sandwich at the same time. In case you can't tell, it only works so well. There you go. That is an entire chest and then some full of component kits. Absolutely ridiculous. Completely and totally unfeasible in vanilla. Something you would never, you'd never have that in vanilla. 
Well, I guess I'm eating this orange because <laughs> I'm out of food in my pockets. Like, inventory filled? What? What do you mean, inventory filled? Wait, is there a component achievement? I don't think so. Not to say it, if it is an achievement, it would be a secret achievement. It's one of the secret ones. God. Um, I might, can I hit that? No, I'm... <clears throat> We can go home and we can find out. Because I have plenty of component kits at home to confirm this theory. Okay, we're going to put the copper away first. Uh, early start YouTube? Uh, no, no, this is actually, I've been going for two and a half hours at this point. But also, hello, lazy dog, and welcome. Easy check before spent. Hey, absolutely. It's really easy to check whether I have, it's an achievement before I spend the hundred to upgrade. Uh, some thrusters. Okay. Okay, yep. Now I just need to go upstairs and check. Do 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 That'll just be like that. Okay. The rest are going to go back in that chest. Yeah, right? That would have been a great, great achievement. Ab just absolutely loaded or maximum upgrades or something. Terran, Fagiano, Red Builder, where are you when I need you? Conveniently... Uh, okay, I have no idea what Terran's doing. Uh, no idea what Fagiano's doing. But apparently, conveniently for Red Builder, his internet was shitting out. So... <laughs> uh, okay, we have thrusters to upgrade. And then... To do something. Come on. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope. Where's the st where's the two stack? There should be a two stack in here somewhere. There it is. Go away. I should also have thrusters. Yep. Yep. Boop. Boop. Upgrades. Upgrades. Okay. Okay. Time to redo this. So we're just going to clop that off and we're going to bring it down to my level. Okay. So I could actually remove those couple blocks, especially now if I'm going to run, uh, we'll do that. Yep. Sure. Three. There we go. Uh, we'll take this and we'll move it to the inside. Oh, actually, also, that needs broken. That needs put up. And that needs welded, which requires the weld tool, which is in the truck. Do, 
do 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 need those need the paint tool need paint okay there is something crawling on my Blah, 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 blah. Yep, the, the, the Streamlabs says it hears me. 
Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, go figure. In my uh, d d d accosting around, um, I unplugged my mic. Yep. Uh, okay. Now. And grab that. This down, bring it up. Tear that down. Okay. I think we're ready for another test. Mm. Minus the fact of we need to hook this up to this. Okay. Let's break the sound barrier. Music's so chill, didn't even realize that. <laughs> well, I'm happy I chose good music. Okay, we need to hook the button up to the seat. Hold on. I took off... How did... Why did I take off the speed watch? Oh, to check what time it was before I went over and, like, messed with the farm. That's right. I need the speed watch. Um, speed watch. There we go. Okay. I guess, actually, you know, I could just take that off and now I can have both. I don't really need the refine. I don't refine things. Mm. We're hitting 560. We're hitting 570. I might see about. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to take your advice and we're going to stack some pistons. Okay, uh, but first we're going to hit up boat truck for food. I also sold all my bananas, which are food. So we're going to be eating pineapple and broccoli. God, that feels so weird. It feels so weird eating pineapple and broccoli. Like, it's so expensive. But it's really not. <laughs> I can grow so much of it in so little time. What am I doing? I need pistons. And we'll also swing by scrap truck and grab. Woo! My Mother's Day side gig is reaching out. So, we need more wood. Okay. Now. I don't think I want to put the seat or the, um, the thrusters on the piston. I feel like that's a bad idea. Um, the only other thing I do want to do is I want I'm gonna be right back real quick real life either from me
just wanted to... Oh, lovely! Okay, okay. So you need to try broccoli and pineapple together in real life. Either it's from hell or it's one of life's secret achievements. Um. Hmm. Let me know how that goes for you. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. But yeah, let me know how that goes for you. Okay. So, we're actually going slower. I love seeing this, like, retract. Oh, that's cool. Um... Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Slowly retracting. <laughs> Makes no difference. Very, very slowly retracting. So that actually slowed us down. I'm gonna remove that. And I feel like I'm just gonna, gonna make the extendo arm longer. I think that's the goal is make the extendo arm longer. Mm hmm Which just means... Ooh, actually, you know, I could cut that off of there and attach it there effectively, which means I just have to cut... Okay, that did not do what I meant for it to do. But, uh, yeah, okay, paint tool. Because this is my measuring stick. Okay. But yeah, this one, I can just cut that off. I might need to recalculate the counterbalance. Like, I don't think I should need to, but I might need to. Okay. So you go there. Uh, weld tool. So we're going to put that there, put the seat there, get up, and we're going to do the same thing over here. I do wonder, like, I'm going to give this another shot, but then I'm going to put the thrust back in line and see if maybe that is part of the issue, is now just the fact that it's off-center if that's okay that's the wrong block part of the problem like the the thrust being off-center is actually being a problem okay there we go okay now we grab that to the switch, and then we can try again. Take number, I don't know. Oh, uh, we're at 600. 625. Uh huh. The game is not loving this. 630. We're probably capping out at 635. Wham! 50 damage. <laughs> uh, can I get up soon? Thank you. Ow. Okay. 
So now I want to try and see what happens if I take the thrust and I put it back in line with the arm. Mm -hmm. Logically speaking, we should see less than 635, but there's also just the potential that it will go higher. There we go. Okay. So, there we go. Uh, now I just need to hook, you know, that logic gate up. So glad I know to use logic gates for stuff like this. All I have to do is hook up one logic gate and then a switch. What? Are we out of fuel? No. Why? Why'd that do nothing? Oh, fuck. Because I hooked. I hooked stuff up wrong. Okay, there we go. That should do it. So, are we going to see 635? Higher, lower... Much more fluctuation, but we're capping out at like 500. Oh, yeah, we're kind of capping out about 500. So, yeah, having the thrust outside is better. But I think we're just going to make it longer and go again. <laughs> make Make the swing arms longer. And go again. This is getting excessive. Okay, no, this this left the realm of excessive ages ago. <sighs> and is genuinely into the realm of ludicrous, but uh, it's not there yet. We have not achieved sound barrier levels of speed yet, so we're not done yet. Okay, there we go. Put that there. Attach the seat. Okay, don't need the piston. Seat. Okay, thrusters on that side, so I want it on this side. Okay. And six blocks worth of concrete, too. Okie dokie. Yeah, if this doesn't work, we're just gonna... I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna need another thrust, another set of thrusters, or another set of arm length. We might need to raise it up again if we go for more. Mm. Okay. Oh no. Yeah, no, we need we need to move scrap truck. Scrap truck needs to go bye bye. I think it's a matter of lag and or like collision. Oh, we're out of fuel. How convenient. How convenient that we ran out of fuel right now. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. Okay, now we're gonna add... An oh, we're also welded off-center because I'm an idiot. Okay, so we're gonna drop that. Uh, yeah. We are completely and totally welded off center. Okay. Um, get rid of the rock. Bearing. 
Uh, that would, you know, that'd make a big difference. That's our center point. There we go. Okay. That was... I did a dumb with that one. Okay. There we go. Okay. Mm hmm mm. Alrighty. One more shot. We're out of fuel. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay. I also believe I tweaked at least one of these. So we need to not. No? Okay, did not tweak it. Cool. Do 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 Five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, we are so close. We are so close. We are capping out at seven hundred and fifteen. If the off center was the only problem. Yeah, nope, not quite, not quite. Another another arm extension and we'll have it 100%. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna, but in order to do another arm extension, we're going to have to raise it up as high as it'll go. As high as I can, you know, effectively go. Okay. Yeah, that would definitely be my luck though of just that's the mistake. But no, we are, we are so unbelievably close. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. We're gonna do that. We're gonna break that. Uh, paint tool and connect tool. So this should be the lightest pink. Yep. One more draw. <laughs> this is stupid. Uh, okay. Um. There we go. Concrete. Six. Cap. <sighs> this, this should do it. Gosh, this should do it. Uh, this should go with the lightest cyan. Gosh, see, that's just gonna... I might need to move it anyway to just, um... Have it not smash against the rocks. Okay, one piece there. Yep. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna go one closer to the duber. There we go. There we go. And seat. Okay. Now we hook it up. Nope, wrong. We need the switch. Running all this way. Okay, there we go. We're set. <sighs> okay, this should do it. Four hundred, five, six. Mm. We're a little slower. We're we're actually a little slower, but I feel like that's a processing issue. So we're gonna move scrap truck 
it might be a matter truly of scrap mechanic processing ability. So we're going to weld up all the vehicles. Just to make sure there's no issues. Every vehicle gets welded to the ground. Okay. And we're going to move it probably like 20 or so blocks over to the side, like over to here. Now fall over, please. Yes, make my life easier. Thank you. Weld it there. Okay, one more shot. Let's see what to do. 300, four, five, six. I wonder if it's the gasoline. Because, yeah, we're only. We're technically slower. We we drew out that one more length and we're now technically slower. Okay. Come on. We are so close. We are hitting what was it? What was the limit? Oh, you mentioned it earlier. It was, was it what, 727? Seven, oh, it's 767. Oh no. Okay, so we're, we're so close, but we're also a slight distance away. Okay. Okay. We're, we're so close. Yeah, we get can hit 700. 700 is about our cap right now, whereas we were hitting 715. I wonder if it's a latency thing. This is so ridiculous. I thought I was going to make this thing look cool because it would be easy. And obviously it's not. <laughs> Um, let's, I'm going to remove these vehicles. I'm going to get them further away. So we are, we are genuinely so close. Oh, is that a power commander I see? That is, that is welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm currently attempting to break the sound barrier using a centrifuge. And I am so close. I'm currently moving uh, blocks, moving vehicles out of the way to try and reduce latency, reduce lag. <sighs> so we are we are so close. We are hitting 700. Four, five, six. I feel like maybe I need more thrusters. So yeah, we can hit that 703 and we're stable. We're out of fuel. Yep. Okay. We are 64 miles an hour away from hitting hitting what we need to hit that would that 767 miles per hour that is the speed of sound <sighs> okay so i need stuff and things that is not this gasoline in my inventory okay so we need tier three tier two tier one we need coal i need a little bit of gasoline 
Uh, yeah, that should do it. How many pipes do I have? Not enough. Never enough. Add a motor to the bearing? Yeah. Try that. Let me rip an engine out of something. Uh, that is an electric engine, which is a bad idea. But I can rip a gas engine. So gas engine, you hook to there. You also hook up to, I need another logic gate technically to keep this thing under control. Yeah, this is so close. We are so close. Okay, launch a gate. Hook you up to you, and then you will hook up to this switch. Scrap driver. The scrap driver seat is the lightest. Okay, intriguing. Because, yeah, we're currently using this one because it's what I've calibrated the counterweight for. Uh, but if that becomes... No! No, no! Turn off, please. Thank you. Okay. Gas. Now we need to steal more gas. Okay. Put gas into the engine. Turn the engine to max. <laughs> <laughs> okay, though now I want to go back over here because those got 20. You are largely irrelevant. These are where a lot of the major force comes from. Okay, well, let's see if that helps. Immediately up to three, four, five. Definitely hit six faster. Seven. Uh-huh. 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 Seven thirty. Forty. Forty-five. Seven. We are twenty miles per hour shy. We are twenty shy. Scrap driver's seat would make a perfect seat. This, for the scrap jankness that this is, I am willing to agree. So is the scrap passenger seat not cheap, not lighter than the scrap driver's seat? Um... That's the workbench. I should... I might have to take a trip. Scrap seat is light too. Double bearing? Yeah, I kind of wanted to do this without double bearings. Toilet seat? Toilet seat's a weight of two. I don't know if you can hook a switch up to a toilet seat. I think you can. Yeah? first scrap table. Yeah, I don't currently see that one. Five, six, seven. Oh, this is it. That's it. That's it. I can't hear you. Oh my god. Eight, three, eight, forty. Holy shit. Toil seat. Oh my god. Eight, fifty, five, six. How fast can we go? Oh my gosh, 57. Oh yeah, slaughtered it. Just use a lighter seat, 857. That only took, you know, six thrusters. 
Oh, jeez, oh, Pete. And, you know, like two hours to build this sucker. And test it and figure out what's going to work. Yeah, no, this is stupid. This is really stupid. But I love it. <sighs> okay, well, that's that one. Oh, shit, what's left? Yeah, no, I do have a ceiling fan on. Do, 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 do. Uh, Wedge Gang. Yeah, well, let's, let's go join Wedge Gang. Yeah, let's go join Wedge Gang. We need to craft one of every type of wedge, at least. Do, 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 do. But yeah, uh, how was your stream, Power? Okay. Metal three, one, two. Okay, wedges. Seat. I should have, I should have more, yeah, in the yellow chest, in the yellow stuff. Worth it, 100% 100, 100 worth the effort, 100%. Um, let's see what we got. So, I've got two by one. So, we've got two by one, three by one. That is more two by ones. We have three by twos, and we have one by ones. So let's put the extra away. Forgotten appointment ended early. <laughs> I understand that completely. Shit happens. Okay, so I need parts. We need, we're talking, oh no, there's a lot of wedges. Oh no, okay. So we have the one by one, we have the two by one. We have the 3 by one craft a 3 by 2 a 4 by one a 4 by 2 a 4 by 3 uh, Is that an extra refine tool? Um, it is the upgraded refining tool that you can equip that I just unequipped because I needed the speed tool. I needed the speed watch and I also I like keeping my uh, other watch on and I realized I never I don't refine things anymore. I use a refine bot So none of it's necessary Hey, there's wedge gang. Okay, cool. That was easier than I was anticipating. I do have both watches Oh god corn just give Okay, that's blocks so that goes down there Corn. Yep. Okay, there we go. Oh, uh, something you haven't seen. <laughs> we did some trading with uh, the boys in HQ. And uh, I'm now what you would like to call filthy stinking rich. <laughs> it was glitching out with multiplayer, kept playing the equip sound. Intriguing. That chest was full before, you know, I needed to add another pair of thrusters to this beast. <clears throat> build, a, <laughs> build a throne out of component kits. I could absolutely do that. That would be, that would be funny. <sighs> Fucking did it. We did that. Okay. Uh, the next one is international foods, which we may or may not be able to do. Uh, there's the culinary table. That one. Make all international foods. So we'll see what food we have. Some tomatoes. I have veggie. I have pizza burgers. Um, yeah, yeah, I could make some french fries, I need, a, I need carrots, 
which is just not something I have. <laughs> I have like a carrot, so I have veggie burger, I have pizza burger. I would need, I would also need bowls, which are gonna be made in here. We're gonna make two bowls and two plates. That should do it. Oh, and you can see it working inside it. That's good. Okay. Uh, let's see what I have. Um, I need, actually, let's just, let's check all the chests of things. Cause yeah, that's, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. This should just have wood in it. Yeah, predominantly. Nothing. I think I have like one carrot and I need like five. So we may have to go plant some carrots. There, yep, there's the one carrot I knew I had. And I'm out of carrots. Yep, okay, we need to go plant carrots, but we can figure out whatever else we need and then we can go plant whatever else we need. I know I don't need red beets. Red beets are the last thing I need. Okay, so I have my pad of paper. Okay, um, so French fries. I crafted that. The salad bowl. I need one tomato. Tomato and carrot. And we're going to run, I'm just going to run tallies. That's one of each. The carrot stock soup bowl is two carrots and a tomato. Goulash is an additional carrot. Spicy bacon is a tomato. A pizza is two tomatoes. And then I have a veggie burger and I have a pizza burger. So there we go. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's have french fries. Yum. Can I? And a cardboard box. Totally not a junk food. Yeah, totally not. Totally not. Um, okay. Let's dump this gas. I cannot dump the gas. Cool. Oh, that, that, okay. So we have another thing we're going to have to test before we wrap up. Um, there's currently a bug with the refueling station, and I need to know if this bug persists into the battery refueling station. Um, do I have milk? I have a little bit of milk. I thought I had more milk, but we can... Bruh. I have corn. I can get milk. Okay, let's go... I need to plant a total of nine crops. Minus the eight tomatoes that I have. That's not going to do anything. There we go. Pizza burger was crafted or found? Mmm, it was found. It was definitely found. So I might, I might need to craft it. You make an excellent point. Okay, water. I don't need red beets, I don't need broccoli, I need, I don't need pineapple, I don't need potatoes, I need carrots, and I need tomatoes. I don't have any tomato seeds over here. Carrots. Just go ahead and water. There we go. Come on. 
And I, I doubt I have... No, there's no way I have any tomato crops here. Or any tomato seeds. They're all going to be back at home. Nope, that's a tree. You know what? Sure. Sure. Vroom vroom. Boat truck is now a little too heavy. Yeah, boat truck's front end is now a lot too heavy. Oh yeah, no, boat truck is done. Boat truck no longer functions as boat truck. I've screwed with boat truck's weight too much. But yeah, it's 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 supposed to be a boat truck. It just currently no longer functions. Unfortunately. But I've added chests to it and I've tweaked I've added weight to the front. So it's fat. It's very fat. What a mess that is. <laughs> it's so simple and yet so overcomplicated. I don't know why I didn't think to try for the lighter seats in general. Um, I need something. Tomato seeds. Thank you. Floaty tires might help. That's what these are. Uh, these are the flotation tires. Compared to uh, the huge wheels, which I'm using on pretty much everything else. These are the flotation tires. Mm hmm Double up. Yeah, see, but then... Boy, am I fat. <laughs> boy, would that be so fat. Like, it looks so good the way it is. It just, you know, isn't functional. But I kind of just need to... T Boat truck kind of needs a redesign in general. Okay, we'll have carrots and tomatoes. Yeah, and, and like, bo boat truck is, like, one of the few really, like, actually pretty vehicles that I've put together. And it's kind of been tweaked. Nope. Oh, boy, that cow's about to die. Oh, cool. It didn't run into the drill. But now that we have a cow... Hey, cow. Have some corn. So, okay, so force feeding it can only go so quickly. Or hand feeding it can only go so quickly. So it, it's really best to, to do both. This will just make sure we have enough milk to make everything that we need to make. Check lighter seat. We just stopped thinking after one try. Yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, we did. We're like, why don't we make this seat even lighter? Never occurred to us. Dum dum's gonna dum dum. That was some violently ejected milk. There we go. Thank you. 
Okay, that just son of a Yep. Was not ready for that. <sighs> okay. I didn't want to know if you if I could have made it with just See you're asking bad questions. You're asking questions that I clearly now need to know the answer to. Okay. We're gonna cut out the middle thruster for the sake of uh, weight distribution. So, also bear in mind, this still does have the engine assisting. Oh, the seat was over here. Mm. 600, easy. Doesn't look like it. No, we're going to hit 700 and that's going to be our cap, roughly even with the engine assist. Oh, that nearly killed me outright. Damn. Oh, buddy, that's the most damage that's done to me yet. Usually it just phases through me. So if I remove that logic gate, the engine is now no longer a contributing factor. The engine? Oh, wait. Now without control, the engine is helping no matter what. Okay, we're removing the engine. Completely. Yep, 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 yep. I, yep, I picked that up. For 400, five. Mm, yeah, we're probably gonna cap out about 650. Maybe 675. Yeah, but no, it was the engine definitely made a big difference. But I'm just going to put those back. Because somebody needs a thumbnail at some point. <sighs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Perfect. All of that's fine. All of that is fine. But uh yeah. Uh there and now I know those thrusters were worth it. True. So notice how fuel thing has 20 fuel in it. If I pick it up, it drops that 20 fuel. I put it back down, it drops the 20 fuel again. Ad infinitum. It is a fuel duplication glitch at the moment, and I want to know if it does that with batteries. But we're doing food first, so we're gonna... We're gonna find out. But, uh, well, we're waiting on food to grow. So, I may as well, actually. Now, let's go find out. And yeah, I'm gonna have to wrap up, like, right at... four today, because I... Unless people are interested in uh, my D&D character making process. <sighs> my crops are under attack. Yeah, I don't care. Um, I need a battery refueling station. Which is this. So I need a battery container, two metal component cages, and 20 metal tubes. So give me that and that. Um, I believe the battery component box takes batteries. <clears throat> so let's find out. Okay, uh, we need a bunch of these, to, as usual. Uh, battery component box, interactive, parts. 
Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, we will need... Yeah. Yeah, we need stuff. Put it on board games. They will come. I play Power Ranger D&D. &D. Fascinating. Yeah. No, that would be a... I can do that. I was thinking of doing it as like a just chatting, but no, that, that works too. Because, yeah, a friend of mine are in the situation of we're going to be trying to two man a lich in D&D &D 5e. So that's going to, yeah, that's, um, mm hmm. I need a little glue. I think the glue is actually in here. Yep. And so both of us are kind of pulling absolutely busted combos because that's the only way you're going to two mana lich. Craft that. Okay. Should be everything. <laughs> I need 20 copper and two vacuum connectors. Okay. That'll do. Give me that. You craft you, and then we'll craft the recharging station. And oh, thank you. What's exploding? Uh, they added an exploding noise to the uh, this thingy, the metal manufactory. Like, I can queue up some more frames and it'll start up again. They, they have, at bare minimum, heard from me that that's a bad idea. They should instead just set it to just be a metal clanging noise. Agreed. 100%. So that may or may not be something that'll be being changed in the future. Oh, I want to go back and look at what Red Builder say. Can't re okay. So he's he said they're currently working on the next major update. See, that's the fact that he's telling me that uh has me concerned and hopefully optimistic. Okay, so battery recharging station. Give me a few stacks of batteries. Gotta love that. Okay, recharging station. Uh-huh. Battery duplication glitch. Cool. I'm not gonna exploit this too much, but I am going to exploit this. Red Builder broke my alternator, and so I will break his game. Uh, it's not it's not spite, it's uh it, it's revenge, which is typically spite. Okay, yep. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna plop this bad boy right down over here, and at some point I'm going to record a little something something and Yeah. Yeah. That's that's busted. Uh, what's wrong with the alternator? He made it require 20 water per battery. And for someone like me who lives in the desert, and yes, I could go and fetch water. I could. But it's a matter of annoyed principle that I don't. Um... Uh, so, yeah, I just, 
I haven't made batteries since that update, especially because like with my alternator setup, it absolutely guzzles gas because it is a tier five gas engine running five bearings on one drive shaft and it makes a battery every 15 seconds. That is a stack of, that is a stack of water every 15 seconds. And it's, it's just ridiculous. I don't think you're anywhere close to done. But I'm going to wait. You used controller? Yeah. I, I agreed with, uh, with Red that I wanted to be a little bit more creative in my engineering. Like, I didn't want to just stack bearings and call it good. I wanted to put some effort, put some thought, put some ingenuity into it. And then I get punished right along with all of the other, you know, controller people like you. It's all your fault. Your fault and people like you. <laughs> water wheels supposed to work. Yeah, it would just also require pumping water into the alternator as well. Is which I mean, you know, you're next to water, so you're going to have water. And uh, I wanted to do it with gasoline. E. Yep. Okay. Please be safe. I will do my best to not fly off the edge. I believe in you. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, yeah. No, that those wind gusts are. Whew. Yeah. I use batteries. Oh, I want to. I want to futz around with Red Builder's uh, tank steering setup. I want, to f I want to futz around with that, but I don't think I can today. I, I definitely am not going to have time. But that's something, it's something I want to futz with. Okay. Garbage. I try to let certain vehicles be like battery operated and what lot, what not. I need you to grow. I need you to do something. Taking your sweet darn time. Your sunglasses should be on my bedside table. You're welcome. <laughs> I don't often know where her stuff is, but sometimes I do. Usually it's more she knows where my stuff is. So yeah, what other... So I think the only one left is food. Besides the secret ones. Yes, national food items. I'm still working on designing the wood chipper and I've just been, you know, super busy and I just haven't had time. Yeah, I could fertilize them, but they're already basically done. It took me a moment to realize what you meant by just saying fert. Plus, I don't think I actually have any fertilizer over here. Mentioning the overlay, by the way, been lazy to look into it. <laughs> I understand. I have a few more overlay things I want to set up on mine. Uh, I've just been lazy too. 
me and someone else. Gotcha. You know, it's... It... It makes it feel a little more... Honestly, for me, it wasn't even a matter of professionalism. Because I don't... I really don't like overlays kind of like what I've got. But... When I made the... Uh, where to find the hidden duckies guide. Uh, I had my video, like my camera video and my and chat up at the same time because I was running um, something like this, roughly. So I was like, I didn't, I had, oh, uh, gameplay new. There we go. So this is more a matter of I have clean undo I have clean footage of the entire game for usage in guides if I deem it necessary to make one. So that was why I did it. Plus, you know, I paid somebody for uh I paid a friend for uh, logo glow up. So I'm like, I'm a. Uh, there we go, there we go. We're getting there. Okay, got the carrots. Yeah, we'll have, you know, like a few more minutes on tomatoes and we'll be good to go. Seeds away. I don't need them. I'm not going to bother. Do, 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 do. Hurry up and grow. But I do also kind of have the idea to put like a vacuum system on this arm so that it can auto harvest for itself that is uh that is a thought consideration that i do have I misread that as like a level 10. I'm like, how am I getting a level 10 raid out of 20 tier one crops or 40 tier one crops? But yeah, it was it was what I needed to do to get the product I wanted. Come on, you're so close. And then I can go make foods. And then I can wrap up. Haven't tried a max raid in Crashlander. Uh, I've not tried a max raid not using this. Three bears is a bit um, interesting. They've also, they've changed the math. Uh, bears are now a two shot kill with the explosive drills. Just did it in Font yesterday, pretty fun. Fair, very fair. I'm waiting to kind of like run out of things to do in Crashlander and then I'm going to probably do like Fant Sky Island as more of that sky sky vanilla but Fant. Oh, oh, okay, we're getting tomatoes. As soon as this makes its way back around, we will water and it should finish like all of them. And then we'll go make foods. I, you like roads to drive on? <laughs> Absolutely fair. Like I've played I've played vanilla, I've done the driving. 
I want to see how it works in the sky. Plus, you know, maybe me doing stuff in the sky will incentivize the Crashlander devs to add the balloons that I want. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, let's go make some foods. And hope and pray that I have enough. Fantas balloons and props. Yeah, that's that's kind of my hope. I really want to make like a Zeppelin base here in Crashlander, but it's not going to work until I have until they until if they add the balloons that I've talked about, like the hot air balloons that I've talked about with the guys, the devs. It feels weird calling the devs just the guys I'm like that that feels weird it's like i know i'm not on that personal of a level with them but it feels like it a little bit um okay so let's check boat truck for the other stuff that i know i need because I'm going to need a bunch of potatoes. I'm going to need some broccoli, <clears throat> red beets, meat, potatoes, carrots, meat. I don't think I needed any pineapple. Let's take some red beets. Do I still have the bowls and plates in my pocket? I don't. I also don't know if I ever actually collected them. I don't think I collected them. You said there's a smaller balloon that you haven't tried yet. Gotcha. It will be on the docket. There we go. Okay. There's all of that. Now, we'll make a salad bowl. I need water. A carrot soup stock bowl. Goulash requires a patty. And that can be made like that. Okay. Just eat the blueberries. I'm kind of sad there's not a fruit salad that just let a viewer join their game to play with the dev. I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, that's that's fair. That's fair. I did. I did let you and Terran in the world to just. I, I sent you off on murder missions. Come on. Hurry up and craft. Blocks. Go in there. I need pretty much all of that. I don't need the glue. And that's where the glue goes. I don't need all of this milk. Goulash bowl, craft, make a pizza, make a veggie burger, and I'll need another meat patty, and then I can make that. The only other thing I don't think I've made is the purified water mug, which may or may not count towards international foods. Because, I mean, purified water is an international staple, but uh, whether you actually want to call it that or not is a bit of a stretch. Um, looking for a coffee mug. Hmm. 
Yeah, sorry, Peace. I don't know what I did with the coffee mug you made me. Mm. Oh, hey, there it is. I found it. Collect, collect. A international traveler. Purified water mug. We're just going to craft everything just because we can. So I take this pizza, I think. And I put it down. And then I take slices from it. And then once I have the patties, I could craft a pizza burger. Not that it, you know, necessary anymore, but uh, I did the thing. I have now crafted every food item in the game. Because Revival Baguette is not there. I had so many walk patties. <laughs> okay, cool. That that accomplished what it needed to. I'm just gonna shove the rest of this in currencies and call it good. Uh, what's the round? Oh, oh, the big round thing. Uh, the so those were added in the most recent update. Uh, these are storage vaults. Uh, they are capable of storing, I think, 20 stacks. You set the filter and then, yeah, you can. Uh, I need to edit the filter. Oop. Yeah. I have yet to, I have plans for them. I just kind of need more of them or to get a balloon base. Okay. So currencies. You know what? I have a few minutes. Let's go talk to Bill. Uh, yeah. Eh, fuck it. I really don't care. Really don't. It's fine. Just to, I'm just gonna end up just sit with all of this in there. <sighs> yeah. It is... I don't know exactly how useful it's going to be, but I it, in like the grand scheme of things, but I am planning on using it in a couple different things. Well, for one, the. Um, what was it? Uh, the wood chipper uh, vehicle is going to have one. But it is not, the wood chipper is not finished yet. The wood chipper, yeah, it, it's, 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 I just haven't had a whole lot of time to work on it. So it's not as pretty as it could slash should be. Okay, let's go pay a visit to Bill. I think... Next time, now that I'm like super duper rich, uh, we're going to be making, I'm going to try and figure out how to make the gear shift using uh, stuff, stuff, yep, using the uh, smart, uh, the smart computers. Okay. And yeah, we're hung up on that. Well, because that's that is a that's a plan. And hopefully, if they implement the balloon, the hot air balloons, the hot air balloons will respect them as well. And I'll be able to essentially make elevation control. And that's, that's a big goal. But again, that is, I have not received any confirmation of, uh, whether or not balloons are actually going to be a thing. 
So I, it's still just currently very much a hope and a dream. Nope, nope, nope. Yep, yeah, saved it. Log, let's go talk to Bill. I want Bill. Hmm. Okay. Now the real question is, do I restart the stream? Or like, do I start like a new stream or do I just go into D&D &D character building? Because I feel like I should just start a new one. Oh, I think the music... No, the music's going. It's just playing a particularly quiet song. <laughs> if you want separate VODs. Yeah, that's fair. That's that's probably that's really what I ought to do. Hello, Bill. Do, 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 Hi, Bill. Oh, yeah, we're, we, we need to trade, but, um, I kind of need to have things in my pocket in order to trade with him. And leave one inventory space empty. Enjoy the DNC stuffs, watch an episode of Three Body Problem, and then bedtime. You have a good night, peace. Enjoy the sleepy. I liked my custom rat wizard, haven't got to play it in a while. Fair. Yeah, I have a uh, running an Asimar uh and what was the other one? Um currently an elf an Asimar barbarian cleric that really needs to be a barbarian paladin but uh, cleric was not the best choice but it's it's worked out in my favor every now and then I have the longest range out of our entire group Guiding Bolt. Okay. There we go. Okay, that's a bunch of coal. Now we'll just go home. And I'll probably <laughs> make a... You know, I want to I wanna recheck the rest of Bill's trades. Is there anything that I really deem useful? Hey, Bill. Trade. Torches. Don't care. Oh, so we... Oh, Oh, we can buy raw metal, but it costs copper, which is very expensive. Oh. Scrap stone for wolf hide and bananas. I'm like, yeah, that's an option. It's a lot of wolf hide for not a lot of stone. Fertilizer, glue, glue clam. You have a Witch Bolt, haven't had a chance to use. Yeah, Witch Bolt's a fun spell. Witch Bolt is a really fun spell. Try to buy chemicals and buy fuel. Oh, I should, I should just buy Ember. Oh my gosh. I should just buy Ember for Red Beats. Oh my god. Okay, we're going to be doing that from now on. Screw going Ember Harvesting. Oh, 
four, four of that for paint is a pretty decent trade. And then it's just all the rest of the seeds. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, that's a decent trade. If a little expensive on the copper side. But... This, this I could do because that's uh, five tomatoes and ish six red beets for 50 metal. Like I could do that. Like I could get behind that. That would be great. Okay, fine. we are going to go home. Gonna go home. We're gonna make a bit of. I'm gonna make some clippable footage, some easily clippable footage, and then. Uh... Go from there. Probably wrap up and. Start working on the D&D character that I need to have ready for to not tomorrow, but Thursday. But it needs to be ready tonight because I'm not going to have access to my computer after tonight. So, yeah. Really should have done that first before I started playing Scrap Mechanic today, but I was just kind of in a sour mood and I just wanted to hang out and not focus on building a character. Um, I will... Okay, seeing as you are at least a little bit experienced, um, do you know of any races that offer the silence spell? Or any... any kind of weird way to get a second level spell without attunement or multi-classing? Because I'm... I have what levels I need to be in order to do things, but I need access to the silence spell. And it's unfortunately not on the paladin spell list, which means I can't cast a scroll of silence, which is fucking stupid. Ooh, hi, yellow crate. I'll stop for you. Oh boy, a switch and a component kit. We're not even going to talk about the seeds. There we go. Okay, and homeward bound. Yay. There we go, we've tidied that up. Okay. So, there we go, we have that. And we have... Uh, actually, let's... I wanna build a small platform. So I need some blocks. Should have a fair bit. Just give me a small platform. That's all I need. Okay. And we will... This feels really dumb, but I'm going to do it. There we go. Okay. <sighs> we 
there we go. So that's that's the front. We're gonna do the same thing here with this. Not sure, race or class. Cause I will be running Paladin. That way, you know, I can be like holy magic and fucking with the Lich as much as possible. Um, auras and whatnot. Uh, there's a Paladin subclass that I could take that I don't really want to take, but the busted combo that I'm going to be employing utilizes the pit, f the tunnel fighter fighting stance from Unearthed Arcana and the Polar Master uh, a feet, which extent my reach is now 10 feet with a pole arm. Due to pole arm master, if you move into my range, I can make an opportunity attack. Because of tunnel fighter, that opportunity attack does not cost my reaction. Now, also because of tunnel fighter, you move more than five feet within my range, I get another opportunity attack. So I get two free opportunity attacks per enemy that enters my attack range, that tries to approach me in melee. That's, that's the busted shit that I'm going for right now. I'm like, I can clear literal hordes. Um, if I used a different weapon, I could have three attacks potentially because you do the first two, they're walking, you know, they enter my range, they move within my range, they get hit, they get hit twice with a different weapon. If I reduce them to below 25 hit points and they serve, they pass, even if they succeed the, uh, if they fail the, uh, con save, they die flat out. Uh, but if they have more, if they succeed, they become afraid of me. So then they spend the rest of their movement moving away from me. They leave my attack range. Attack of opportunity. Kills them, probably. <sighs> okay. But there's... Okay. I need to throw batteries on the ground. Okay. Okay. Okay, so there's this. Sounds cool, very. It, uh, it's kind of, in order to two man a lich, it's kind of what's necessary. Friend of mine that I'm gonna be doing it with is going to be running a microwave build, which is a wizard with, um, fuck, what's the, the, uh, sentient book subclass so that he can cast sickening radiance, which is concentration. And then he can cast wall of force, which is also concentration. But because of the book, the book can concentrate on a spell by itself. So you can have two concentration spells going at the same time. Well, we need to silence the Lich. Otherwise, the Lich could cast... Um, what was it? Uh, dispel Magic. And just get rid of... Either Sickening Radiance or Wall of Force. So we need Silence to keep it in there. And Silence is currently the problem. But, yeah. Oh, I need to, that needs to be full of gas just for the shiggle factor of this. Okay, there we go. Okay.
<laughs> there we go. That got me what I needed. Yeah. I really want to be like level 17 or 18 like paladin, which is the roughest part of this. And I want uh two levels I I don't care. I I I'm limited. Um, okay, there we go. I, I don't care. I need to get this stuff off the ground. It's annoying me. Plus, I can throw a chest in the river and not care about it ever again. Or maybe destroy it with explosives. Never know. Because, yeah, liches are meant to be taken on by, like, a party of, like, five or more. And that's what we were supposed to have, a group of five or more. Uh, except a lot of people backed out for completely understandable reasons. I think with unlimited and picked up, they disappear. You know, you make an excellent point. You make a very excellent point. I could have done that. Oh, well, now I have batteries for days. The chests aren't expensive at this point. But there we go. Now I can at least move those without, you know, filling them. <sighs> yeah. But there we go. Okay. I am going to, with that, we're going to wrap up this stream. And then I'm going to go and start, you know, making a character. So, uh, yeah. Appreciate uh, everyone who has come by. Uh, power, especially. And peace. And, you know. Red Builder and Lazy Dog and Terran and all you wonderful people. And so, yeah, if you come by for some D&D character building, feel free. Uh, but if not, uh, you're, don't forget, you're always welcome at my channel. <laughs>